I need your help on something. Okay. What is a word that describes someone who is devoted, true, and loyal? Faithful. Faithful. Okay. Mm -hmm. How about someone who who likes to uh, talk a lot? Talkative. Mm, not really. Um, what's this word? Someone who who likes to do things his way. Yun. Bossy. One last question. Mm. What about someone who always asks questions, mm. who is very bothersome, mm. irritating, mm. you know? You mean someone like you? The word is annoying, by the way. Asking me all of these questions? Wala lang. Uh -huh. mm. Fine. What about you? What are you writing? Nothing really. Okay. Thank you. I have this special friend who would stick with me till the end. Days that we spend together just bring us closer to each other. Uh, hi! Got it? Karen is surprising me with a poem about me. Uh, hoy. I better leave before I ruin her surprise. I wonder why Ingo came back. Paper? What's in this paper? Hmm, something is written on it. <clears throat> I have this special friend who'd stick with me till the end. <laughs> ah. Home? In go? I got it! Ingo is going to surprise me with this poem. The character he is describing is me. I am just going to leave this here. I don't want to ruin his surprise. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ben Bayawak. I stay by the rocks and watch passersby all day. Describing them in poems is what I do best. Hey, let's play a game. I'll describe a character in a poem, then you guess who that character is. Can you guess who this is? She is nice, witty, and smart. Strong enough to pull a cart. In helping others, she's on the go. She is the dear friend of Ingo. That's right. The character described in the poem is... Karen! Now listen to this next poem. He is a young and hard-working farmer. He raises questions every hour. To most things, he has the know-how. He is the friend of Karen Carabao. You're right again! The character described in the poem is Ingo! 
gloomy, daunting, scary. Those words describe me. Here by this place that's rocky, that's where my friends find me. But I think I should start crawling around more often. Maybe I'll be able to meet more characters I can describe in my poems. So long! <laughs> Your first stanza? No, my second stanza. Ah, my friend. My friend helps me forget about my frown. Ako na bali. Tintin! Ah, ito. What is it, Kuya Kokoy? Um, Tintin, I just need to sharpen my pencil. Um, please stay here and watch my things, ah. Okay. Okay. Stanza. Every time I feel like giving up, uh, my friend is there to cheer me up. And whenever I feel down, my friend helps me forget about my frown. Do you know my? Paper. Poem. Oh, you can't read it. That is in Ghost Poem. Well, it's not like it's a crime. Um, ah, I know. I'll be checking his spelling. That's right. I will read the poem to see if he is spelling the words right. Sharpener with me. Tintin, Tintin, come over here. What is it, Kuya Kokoy? Please watch my things again. But Kuya, why don't you just bring your things with you? Because Tintin, I want this place safe. Because this is the only place that I'm able to write a poem. Do you understand? All right. My friend bothers me. <gasps> Why I still care for my friend, I just can't understand. Maybe it's time for me to read the third stanza of this poem. <gasps> there. Useless, crazy, Careless, lazy. Karen! Tintin! Tintin! What happened? I just went to get my toys. It falls off. Look at my paper. It's crumpled and dirty. I'm sorry, Kuya Kokoy. I hope my poem is still here. Ah! Good! My poem is still here. Um, it's okay. It's okay, Tintin. Ah, calm down. Don't cry out. What did I do? What do you mean? What did I do? Don't be so naive. Don't even try to go there because what, what you know you... What do you mean so harsh? Huh? Harsh? about me? What do you mean harsh? I believe you. You started saying so, so what, don't harsh words. Excuse words. me. Oh, you started this. Excuse me. <clears throat> um, yes? what are you two arguing about? It's his fault. No, it's her fault. He started saying mean things about oh, me. Oh, come on. You started saying all those oh, nasty me, words about me. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me. Yes? Um, 
I need your help. Can you please read this poem that I wrote to see if it's okay? Of course. Why? Is it that bad? I try to use rhymes. You wrote this poem? Why? Is it that good? I use rhymes. Oh, uh, what are you writing this poem for? That poem? Uh, it's for Miss Regala's class. It's our assignment to write a poem describing a character. Uh, Who's the character in the poem anyway? Yes. Ah, it's Ben. Ben? Ben who? Ah, it's my pet Bayawa. Huh? My father wants me to set him free already. But I'm trying to show how much I love my pet. Uh, Bayawa. Oh, so, how's my poem? Um... Why don't you read it for us? Eh? Okay. My friend, Ben. I have this special friend who'd stick with me till the end. Days that we spent together just bring us closer to each other. Every time I feel like giving up, my friend is there to cheer me up. And whenever I feel down, my friend helps me forget about my frown. Useless, crazy, careless, lazy. That's how others see my friend. Most of the time, my friend bothers me. Why I still care for my friend, I just can't understand. But then again, in loving a friend, you don't really have to know why. Just as long as you both send. Your cares in every day that passes by. That's my friend, Ben. It's touching. It's nice. Now we know who it's about. <laughs> really? Oh, thanks again. Bye, Karen. Bye. 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 See you. Bye. Bye. I'm sorry. We shouldn't have jumped to conclusions like that. No, we are wrong in trying to read that poem without any permission. We were wrong in reacting to criticisms that way. 